My name is Brian Calkin. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for the Center for Internet Security. The Center for Internet Security, we are a nonprofit organization based in upstate New York. We do a couple of things. One is we offer security best practice guidelines uh, and, and recommendations, and we also operate the multi-state and election infrastructure information analysis centers. So what primarily led us to cloud computing was we found ourselves uh, ultimately one day with a big data problem. Uh, we have these sensors that are deployed around the country that are monitoring state and local governments, and they are monitoring all incoming and outgoing traffic from a given organization. And they're looking for malicious activity within that network traffic. When we first started the program nine years ago, uh, we had a small number of sensors, around 20 or so. Uh, they're generating small amounts of data. Now we're close to 400 sensors generating very large amounts of data. And so uh, we were at a point where we needed to make a decision as to whether or not we wanted to invest in additional hardware in our, in our relatively small data center, or if we wanted to look at something like the cloud, for instance. We found that AWS, as compared to building either something on-prem or even some going with some of the other providers, was a more cost-effective solution. Working with ProServe was really a benefit to us because we didn't have the expertise in-house to build something within, within AWS. So we had an idea of what we wanted to build, we just didn't have any idea how to get there. And the folks from ProServe really leapfrogged us really forward and really quickly. We are processing around 68 billion logs a minute. We are storing the data in S3, and we are currently querying the data with uh, Athena. We've been able to basically reduce our query time down from days and weeks down to minutes and seconds. The other thing that we're looking forward to doing, we're just getting started with, is really leveraging the data that's within AWS and some of the tools like AWS SageMaker to start utilizing machine learning and finding malicious activity within all that data. Had we gone with an on-prem solution at the point in time when we started this journey, we would have already outgrown it and it would have already been money not well spent.